Hello, welcome to a new a two minute tip. In this video, I'm going to look at how we can use a smart collection to find any raw files that need converting to DNG. Hello, welcome to In Studio. I'm Ian M. Butterfield. You may have heard me say in the past uh, that I recommend people convert their raw files to DNG to future proof them. And that we would normally do as we import the files into Lightroom. However, uh, sometimes we move in files uh, and don't convert them for a variety of reasons. So how do you find out all those images that still need to be converted? Well, the easy way to do it is to use a smart collection. Let's head over into Lightroom and I'll show you how to do it. So let's go down to the collections section uh, down here. And I'm going to click on the plus to create a new smart collection. So let's call this raw files to convert to DNG. And I'm going to stick it inside a collection set. And I've got one called Sanity Checks. I use the Sanity Checks collection set uh, to store anything like this, where they are uh, smart collections where I might just want to peruse the, uh, the database for things that need um, I need to check up on, such as uh, files which may need converting to DNG. In the options, I'm going to select uh, file name or type and off that file type and is is correct. I don't want DNG and now just to be aware, it's very tempting to say is not DNG here. Actually, what you want to do is select is raw because if you say is not DNG, you pull up all things like the PSD files, the JPEG files and things like that. So I can say uh, file type is raw, create. That will add my uh, new smart collection underneath sanity checks. And inside there, it's come up with all the images it's found in the database that need converting to, uh, uh, to DNG. And by the looks of them, they're all in one folder. It's as simple as that to find all the files that need converting to DNG. And I can leave that smart collection in my sanity checks uh, collection set. And I can go back to that at any point in the future to see if there are files that have slipped through the net. I hope you found this tip useful. And in my next tip, I'll show you having located all the files that need converting, how to actually do the conversion. See you then. Bye for now.